Uh, doctor, what, what do we know at this point about uh, Omicron? It, it's taking over quickly. Is it possible that the optimistic case could be that it displaces Delta which, with a less virulent strain? Can we hope for that? Well, I think right now what we're seeing is Omicron certainly has dominated the playing field. We're seeing about every three out of four infections are Omicron. So it's it's not only growing explosive, explosively, it's you're seeing a vertical growth, um, and it's very concerning. But I am most concerned about those that are unvaccinated. I think as we look at, is Omicron going to take over Delta? I certainly do think that's going to be the case. You'll probably see co-circulations of both variants. But at this point, what we know so far about Omicron in terms of is it going to cause more severe illness and death? There are some really good reports coming out, both from South Africa, from UK, and other parts of the world, that's showing that it is a milder variant compared to Delta and the other variants of concern. But we still need some more data. I think what I am just hopeful of is that hopefully, as we're seeing more infections with Omicron, they hopefully won't translate into more hospitalization and, and death. Doctor, is there? Uh... Has there been in the past, historically, in, in epidemiology, has there been a case where a less virulent uh, strain uh, is sort of the, the beginning of the end of, of, a, of a pandemic? And is there a positive or optimistic scenario that, that could result from this, where you did see it displace Delta and burn itself out as, as a much less uh, uh, deadly strain of, of COVID? I mean, that's a great question. I think as we look at, is this variant going to cause us to transition into that endemic state? I think if we look at the silver lining with Omicron A first being more transmissible, which is very concerning, but on the other end, perhaps more mild, uh, we'll gain much more immunity in our population, hopefully through vaccination, not necessarily through natural infection, because obviously that's putting others at risk for hospitalization, death, and long COVID. Um, but I think at least it's going to, uh, you know, provide much more immunity in our population. So when we do see another variant, and I do think with, you know, the evolution of this virus, we'll probably see more variants in the pipeline in the future. At least we'll be better, better ready. We'll have more immunity in our population, and hopefully it'll preserve hospital, uh, you know, hospitalizations and, and our hospital capacity, because that's really one of the biggest considerations here. Is how can we ensure that our hospitals do not get over, overwhelmed? Hey, doctor, we were talking to uh, Steve Young about the NFL and their decision uh, this week effectively to suspend testing of players that uh, are vaccinated, boosted, uh, but are asymptomatic. What do you think of that? Um, we were talking not just about the practicalities of that within the league itself, but to the extent that they are a role model for others, the signals that that sends. Well, I think the first, you know, we're going to see a lot more breakthrough infections. So if you're going to test more, you're probably going to, you know, pick up more more uh, breakthrough infections than those that are fully vaccinated and boosted. The question now becomes, do we want to eliminate all risk of introducing the virus uh, in these settings? I do think that there is a case for that. We want to make sure we are trying to reduce the number of infections um, as well as hospitalization and death. So I think right now we're still in the emergency phase of this pandemic. And so we should use all the tools at our disposal. We should couple it with testing. We should try to keep the virus out. We should try to make sure that people are obviously fully vaccinated and they're doing things outdoors if they can, if they are going to do things indoors. Obviously, NFL is very different. It's a high contact sport. So we should continue to apply these risk reduction measures until we're out of the emergency phase of this pandemic. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.